guys welcome back to my channel so today what i'm going to be doing for you is this drugstore tutorial just gotta be cute you know gotta be cute so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep watching start it shall we new hair new me yeah baby my mom did this i'm so proud of her she did such a good job like i'm not paying for hair again like i'm not going to a salon again no okay so primer let's go in with revolution pro goddess glow primer this is new actually i don't think i've used this yet i feel like this is like a shimmery one. Oh my god come on sis oh oh gold wow gorgeous my skin has been causing me absolute havoc recently and i've just about dried up all of the spots but they've left like scarring so i'm not very happy i don't know if i put enough on but there is like a slight shimmer i like it i'm gonna go straight in with foundation being mix born to glow foundation in the shade golden This sun is not playing. So next let's go on to some concealer. I'm gonna start with the Revolution Conceal and Define in C10. Then I'm also gonna to top it up with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 25. And then I'm just gonna add the Fit Me in these areas here as a bit more of a brightener. Okay, cool. Now let's set with the Vici translucent setting powder. It comes with like a cool little pad, like a, a pad pad. But I prefer my Huda Beauty um, bacon blend brush because it gets right into the creases of like your eye and stuff. Make sure everything's nicely merged in. I'm really liking how this concealer looks on this foundation, like the color matches. It's really cute. Like the colors go together really nicely. Just press that in underneath your eye this is coming up so white because i'm used to like usually having like banana powder but i thought i'd try like a translucent because i didn't want to risk being like way too yellow just brush it over here wow I'm a ghost, I'm a, I'm a ghost. Okay, so now whilst this is setting, I'm going to do my bronzer. So honeys, let's go in with the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in Hot Mocha, and we're just gonna cream contour our face up. And then, okay, let's just buff that out with our favorite boofer go very like you just need to be slow with it like be patient patience is a virtue with cream contour you can't go cray cray and then expect it to work make your way around Let's powder contour, and for that I'm going to use the Nip and Fab Contour Palette. So I'm actually going to mix these two colours together. Okay, so now let's take off that excess powder. Okay, cool. So next, one of my favorite bits at the moment is blusher. So this Nip and Fab blush palette is literally the cutest thing ever. So I'm literally going to take like a combination of all of them. Well, these three here and just dab on my cheeky. 
I love blush these days. I think it just, I don't know. I don't know what I've been doing without it. And a little bit on your nose because a little bit of a pink nose is kind of cute. Now I'm blushed up. On to highlighter. Whoa, highlighter baby. Highlight with Revolution Pro Golden Glare Highlighter. I absolutely love their highlight. The highlights are incredible, like, and they're so cheap. They're like five pounds. I've loved Revolution highlighters for the longest. On your nose, so cute. I love this little here. So like in general, do you guys prefer like drugstore or more high-end makeup? I really don't have a preference. I probably, more than likely on a usual day, I would have a mixture. Like I wouldn't do like one or the other. Okay, so now to add a bit of moisture, I'm going in because we've got a lot of product on this face. I'm going to go in with Life Proof Illuminating Mist by Sleeky. I love Sleek. So we're just going to add a bit of glit well, glisten and moisture to our face before we start the eyes. Oh God. Wow. Now we've kind of done the face, I'm just going to move on to the eyes. And I'm going to be using Sleek's Ultra Matte Eye Divine, this palette here. So firstly, I'm going to go in with this shade here. I'm gonna go straight in with this dark brownie color, this one here. And just really just put that all over my lid. Small, small smoky eye, but very subtle. Then we just, you know how I do, blend it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is kind of like a brush that's meant to be for like gel eyeliner and i'm gonna take this and then put it into this dark shade here and then we're just gonna create like a fake liner look but then smudge it upwards so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a little bit because of the fallout it, i find this so much easier to do with this little brush and then just keep going like nail lash line and then we'll eventually blend that upwards but this is just putting it on And then just take another brush, a little one, and just gently blend that up now onto the main bit of your lid. It's kind of like a ombre, an ombre liner. Let's add lashes. So lashes on and we're ready to rumble. The Eyelor 3D lashes, very extreme, but I like extreme lashes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of liner on the edges to just elongate my eye. This is Benefit's Roller Liner. Can you see how that kind of just extends the eye a tiny bit? gonna go in underneath our eyes now and finish off the whole eye look and use this orange underneath our eye that's gonna be fire I'm just getting my Rimmel waterproof black liner and gonna apply that in my just here that's our eyes with some definition they just make you look like Okay, so let's take the dark brown again from the Sleek palette and then just add a little bit right near our eyeline. Now let's just add some mascara to our bottom lashes. And to lips to bring this whole look together. I'm gonna start with Sleek's Locked Up. From here, the Revolution Clear Gloss. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I thought it was about time I did a drugstore tutorial. Like what the hell have I been doing? Like what have I been doing? No drugstore tutorials, okay. I'll put all of the products that I used in the description box. So it's all there for you to look at. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.